What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego. We back. Here to talk about this Canelo situation on this good live stream. The Boxing Ego live stream. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm gonna eat my yogurt. Wait for y'all to come. Bad news in the city. Bad news in the city, man. Fight got canceled. That's what happened. I'm gonna wait for everyone to join so we can go over this as one big family. Shout out to Money Pal, the third. This didn't surprise me. What's up, man? How are you doing today? I'm just here talking about this situation. Man. Bad look for Canelo. Listen. Bad look. Because even let's like I said, I'm just I'm just giving you guys both sides of the coin. Even if Canelo ate the tainted meat and that's why it's he's still responsible for it he's still likely getting fined and suspended we'll wait till april 18th but that's pretty much what's gonna happen and regardless it doesn't change people's perception you know what i mean like it's just like when someone cops a plea when floyd mayweather had that domestic violence he had that dv case with an ex-girlfriend or whatever he, he played out you know what I mean? To reduce court fees, legal fees, and he just served a little time. People automatically say you're guilty. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened. Maybe he didn't. Hit. You know what I mean? Maybe it didn't go down like she said, but because he pled. Shout out to you, always on your, sh always on it, sir. Thank you. I tried. I was trying to get back to boxing back to the sport of boxing that made me at least on youtube now um let's get the roll call out of the way so we can jump right in by the time everyone's here smash the like button when you come in i don't know how long this live stream going to be but let me know where you're at city state zip rep where you're from this is what i like to do on my channel the boxing eagle roll call shout out to houston h town up in this Sad. Shout out to Fort Mitchell, Alabama, Coachella, Chicago, Chicago Garfield Park Boxing, London, UK, I see you, UK, Fresno, Joshua, Texas, Richmond, California, Arizona 305, San Antonio 210, Texas 305, Los Angeles, Cold Germany out here, Jers, Flint, Michigan, Inglewood, Holly Holly Hood, D Bevel, the champ, $5 super chat. Damn Ego, can we finish the video before you go live? We working, hey, we working, baby. I can't help it. I'm just quick, quick draw. McGraw I went to art school, Phoenix, Arizona. That's why I got my fatigues on. King City, Huntsville, Alabama, Mexicali, Baja, California, Mexico. Shout out to you, Bangladesh. My dude D Bevel from Las Vegas, Phoenix representing Tarzana, Tarzania, East Africa, UK. And I support Wilder, LOL. We can get to Wilder, we can talk Wilder too. H-Town, Fullerton, California, New York, Syria, San Antonio, Santa Ana, Baltimore, Washington, DC, hashtag new media, Detroit, 313, Jersey, North Carolina. We up in here, man. We in this thing. I'm on the West Coast. Bay Area, Puerto Rico. Polk County, Houston, Texas. Now, Ego, South Central, LA. I see you, baby. California, I'm gonna be in Vegas probably tonight. Well, you know, I'll be missing my flights and stuff. You gotta come fast and be late, but I got a late flight, I got a red eye out of Cali, out of the Bay Area, to Vegas. I will be covering Anis Lada 
versus uh, Jerry Swift Heard. Very good Showtime card. Very good main event. Uh, let's talk about the Canelo situation, people. We worldwide. You guys seen? Everybody's in here. Okay. In case you guys have not heard, Canelo, he summons the select media or, or a few people. They did a press conference at the Golden Boy offices. And this morning, he just revealed that he's pulling out of the fight. He's withdrawing from the fight. Shout out to Vallejo, my backyard, 707. Canelo Alvarez says he's withdrawing from the fight, May 5th. So obviously Golden Boy or whoever is in his ear, it's not looking good for him. You know what I mean? And he probably knew it was inevitable that he was going to get suspended and fined. So might as well, just, you know, instead of pulling the dagger out slow, might as well just get it over with. You know what I mean? Rip the bandage off right now. That's a good one. It's like a band-aid. You know what I mean? It's sticking to your hair and just yank it off. So instead of waiting till April 18, keeping people in mystery longer, I think Golden Boy and Canelo did the right thing. They knew it was inevitable. They know it's not going their way. You know what I mean? Because even though the hearing hasn't commenced, because it's not till it got pushed back from April 10 to April 18, all the signs, best boxing channel on YouTube, no fake news, LOL. Shout out to Mark. I appreciate that. Um, even though the hearing hasn't commenced, so technically you don't know what Nevada State Athletic Commission would rule, it's just not looking favorable. And I told you guys for the, the past few videos, when I first heard about this, like the, when it first, first happened, I was like, nah, they're going to let this fight continue because that's what history has shown us, Francisco Vargas versus Orlando Salido, etc. But right around the time, maybe a little bit before this, when they start refunding tickets and different things like that, I'm like, okay, this fight's probably going to get canceled because you don't hear about tickets being refunded. And some people will say, oh, it was from the Las Vegas Journal review. They're a credible source. I've gotten tons of reliable information over the, the course of this channel from them. But then ESPN, they had an article a couple of days later, and they said they got the confirmation from MGM that they're refunding tickets. You know what I mean? So that's one big sign. I did a video earlier today. You guys see, listen, I'm going to give you all one of my keys to success. As, as far as YouTube platform. One of my keys to success is to look at patterns, study the signs, forecast, you know what I mean? And history will show you some things. Patterns show you things. If someone has a, a, a pattern of like jabbing lazy and not pulling their hand back, then that might come back that you have to be able to notice and identify that. And I told you guys in a video well before this hours before this like early this morning that canelo sent his sparring partner home and i told you in that video it's up on the channel ego's rp we working we working baby but i told you in that particular video he has a power punching um knockout artist from australia that he flew out for to prepare for Golovkin. then the guy's back at home and he sent him home now, there is a chance just from being in gyms and around gyms. I did see the super chat. I will get to the super chat. Just let me finish my thought. Um, there is a chance that sometimes sparring partners get sent home. They don't work the full camp. But it didn't look good. It wasn't looking good. And I told you that. I said, if I had a guess, it's in the title. It says, Canelo Golovkin likely off. Wow. I just got a, a, another breaking news alert and someone says there's an active shooter at the youtube headquarters what the fuck is going on today man i pray for everybody um i haven't heard someone just text me this right now breaking news they said there's an active shooter at the youtube headquarters like man i pray for everybody who's involved hopefully um the situation gets de-escalated really quick that's fucked up um Another situation. Yeah, I'm on it right now. YouTube head co Here, I'll show you guys. What the hell, man? This is just regular Google. YouTube headquarters locked down amid reports of active shooter storming the building. Hollywood reporter, active shooter reported at YouTube headquarters, police say. San Francisco news, where I'm close to where I'm at. Active shooter situation at YouTube headquarters. 
That's breaking news, people. Just so you guys know, I mean, obviously I'm not bragging. That's horrible news. But this is how you know we're live, people, because this is going on right now. This is not a drill. This is not like a pre-recorded video. This is like right now. So hopefully they get the situation under control. Man, I'm getting sick of these punk ass shooters, man. Like school shooters. Like, it's, it's getting crazy. But um, if you're just joining me for the the Canelo situation, he he officially announced that he's withdrawing from it. You didn't get the notification. I apologize. Like I said, hit the bell icon if it's already selected. Then uncheck it, clear out your history and your cache, and then um, close your browser, reopen it, and then hit the bell icon again. Listen. Listen. Ike was born suspended. He's getting suspended. I told you. My opinion shifted for it's been a minute. If you listen, if you just listen to the video, because you got to look at the trends. Any good business will study trends. When I worked at Lowe's, we're getting ready to go into the Christmas season, which is, you know, I mean, uh, Black Friday, Thanksgiving, Christmas. That's where you, you see probably the best profits. But we'd have paperwork to be compared this year, this date versus the past year, the fiscal year. You know what I mean? And you look for trends. Are you trending upward? Are you trending downward? Are you just staying the same? You got to look for trends. And this fight was trending to get canceled because Canelo's untouchable, but he don't have a fight. That don't, that don't make sense. Hold on. Let me get that super chat. I really don't want to lose it. I apologize. Hold on. Triune Boxing Talk. $5 super chat. Thank you very much. Makes me wonder what kind of things were going to come to light if they fought their case. Tooth and nail. Good work, ego. Um, that's a good question. I don't really know. Crazy. Boxing is harsh already and being dirty is selfish. Yeah, man. I mean... Listen, ultimately, what it boils down to this, because someone said Canelo is being so unjustly treated. Listen, listen to me, people. I like Canelo in terms of his, his attitude towards boxing, his fight style. I've, I've told you guys that in the past. I, I like his scrap. I like him. Um, but it's not unjust. You, as a pro athlete, you were responsible for what goes in your body. And... It's no one else's responsibility but yours, right? It's period. It's just like you fail a drug test. And see, Canelo probably, this is what people are trying to say. It's not unjust. This is what, listen. Smash the like button. I'm about to drop gems. If y'all want to hear these bars, smash the like button. Say bars. Everybody just type bars. I'm about to go in. Uh. I'm about to go in. Just type bars. Um, you gotta look at it like this. Everybody wants to, when it comes to boxing, when it comes to making money, when it comes to fighting certain opponents, when when fighters are at a celebrity status, a certain level, they make sure to let you know that they're at that ladder, that they're at the top of the ladder, top of the pyramid, that that they're at that status, if you will right so with that being said you have to understand that also comes with responsibility you can't just when it applies to you when you're fighting uh amir khan or liam smith say hey i'm the a side i want this i want this uh i'm the a side over kodo my name comes first i get to rock, walk out second you know what i mean you can't just pull rank in those situations and then when something bad happens on on your behalf like a failed drug test not expect that same type of spotlight see that's the thing with spotlight you can't turn it off if you got the limelight and you're buzzing it don't go on good or bad it don't chris brown was at the top of his game when him and rihanna had that domestic violence situation you know what i mean and he lost a lot of sponsorships and endorsement deals at that time 
Hey, shooters, get Munts out of here. Munts Z. If you see him, get him out of here. He's, he's putting foolish nuts. We don't have time for it. Here, I'll get it. I, got, I can't deal with this right now. Bars, bow. We got him out of here. Me and Angel shot him at the same time. Got him. Listen. You can't switch the limelight off when you want. That's my whole point. And they have to make an example out of Canelo because he's up here. And it's everybody. Listen, Francisco Vargas, Orlando Salido, that was a Golden Boy fight also. Eric Morales versus Danny Garcia, Clint Buterell fight. That was a Golden Boy fight also. That was when Golden Boy was working with Heyman Fighters. See, those fights were small enough to go below the radar. But when it's happening at the top, then you got to understand that. It's all lies on you. So Nevada State Athletic Commission, listen, they're looking at it like it's, it's us or Canelo. You know what I'm saying? It's our reputation as a sanctioning body or Canelo. And we ain't going down. Like Tupac said in shoes. <laughs> Ain't no one man above the crew. You know that shit. We all go down unless we stick together. Like <laughs> Nevada State Athletic Commission or any corporation, they're not going to let their business go down. They're not going to let your boy go down. I mean, their, their business go down because of one other athlete, no matter how big he is. You know what I mean? When Pacquiao was saying, um, the gay people... Do, 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 do. I do believe that the gays are worse than that. Nike ain't gonna, they're not gonna let their company lose millions and billions of dollars of sales because Pacquiao said some shit and he's in the hot seat. So it just so happens that Canelo is one of the biggest stars, one of the hottest stars, and he had it in his system. That's the thing with the limelight. Listen. Not to toot our own horn, but we work hard here at Boxing Ego. So the channel gets recognition, the channel gets exposure, we get cool views for you know, the amount of subscribers we have and all that. And if people are paying attention, then I gotta be held responsible for what I say. That's why, I mean, I, I tell jokes and stuff, but I'm not saying anything, I'm not um, saying anything that's gonna get me black, but I'm covering a fight this tomorrow, starting tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's what happens in your limelight. You're responsible for what you put out or in Canelo's situation, for what you put in your body. Nobody else is responsible for that. And he knows the landscape of Mexico because he's from Mexico. So it's not about them picking on Canelo. It just, he had to get it because he's the A-side. Like I said, you can't be the A-side Monday through Friday, and then you do something wrong, and Saturday, you, you don't want to be the A-side. Sunday, when it comes time to repent, on the Sabbath, you don't want to be the A-side. No, don't work like that. But when when you stunting on fighters, and, oh, I get the lion's share of the money, I walk out second, I'm the A-side, I'm the one, you know what I mean, all that stuff, that's great. But now you're also the A-side when it comes to this punishment. You know what I mean? It's like 50 said on Piggy Bank, Nigga, everybody listening. Everybody listen. <laughs> you gotta do something, babe. Nigga, everybody listen. Everybody's listening. And Nevada State Athletic Commission knows that. They're not gonna be viewed as a joke or like unbi or bias or unfair on the on account of Canelo. Nigga, everybody listening. <laughs> you gotta do something, Nevada. So that's I, that's that's just simple business. Like, let's say, let's say I was at the top, 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 and I had like a vice president of my company, and I'm like the the Steve Jobs of the company for Apple, let's say, and some guy was illegally selling stocks. This happened actually. At a, I used to work at a credit card company called Providia, right? Illegally doing something. Now you want the whole company to go down and implode. Or are you going to just dismiss him and force him to resign and or fire him? You know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury, he failed. Message to the white lifter. Yeah, shit house. And, right? He failed those drug tests with cocaine in his system. Now, he chose to relinquish his belt. But had he not relinquished his belt, trust me, they would have stripped him. They're not going to let you hold on to the belt and you doing coke and you, you not holding the belt with the integrity that they expect. Message to the weightlifter. 
I'll fight you at 25 stone. Right? Deron Heron, another solid, very gracious super chat. $10. It says, what up, Ego? Damn, not a good look for Canelo. More exposure, more accountability. Yeah, I mean, like I said, had Tyson Fury when he failed with cocaine, which is cocaine. Well, actually, that could. I, I, I was going to say it's not a performance enhancing drug, but maybe because if dudes get coked out, who knows what type of punch and energy they have. So I guess. But either way, you know, you're not supposed to take it. You're not supposed to have that in your system. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day. Tyson Fury had to get rid of his belts. You know what I mean? What do the, what do those sanctioning bodies look like? Allowing him to keep his belts, knowing he's breaking the rules. And that's the same thing with this Canelo. Smash the like button. I'm just eating my yogurt. The beard on fleek, they say. Nevada State Athletic Commission. They did like this yogurt and said, hey, Golden Boy, it's your play. Get it? I said, Golden Boy, it's your play. Bars. Yo play. Your play. Bars. Hey, Golden Boy, you got to do something, baby. It's your play. Bars. They had to get Canelo. And it sucks because everyone was looking for it. If I was at the first fight, you know I wanted to go. I, I, man, I'll show you right. I applied for the fight. Hey, can I go? No, I, I might still go to Vegas because um, my guys at the Box Fan Expo. Make sure y'all, if you are going to be in Vegas, I don't know what the replacement fight is going to be, but if you are there, um, grab your tickets to the Box Fan Expo. There's a link in my, it's an affiliate link um, in my videos in the description box. It, it kind of gives me credit or whatever. Um, but if you guys are purchasing tickets, they're available now. To my knowledge, unless otherwise, I'll give you guys the update. They're still running it. There's going to be a ton of people. They've had, the past ones have had everybody, like Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, Eric Morales, and um, Badu Jack was there my dude danny jacobs there's a ton of people but yeah and see canelo man it's a bad look canelo messing up the business you're supposed to be the money man in vegas now you're supposed to be boxing's biggest star he messing up the money because events like box fan expo the reason they had that was because they they they, they um focus in and hone in on those dates which is another it was, it was supposed to be a big fight card week you know what I mean? So people are already going to be in town. But now you're messing up other people's money. This, this is what I'm saying. Just off negligence. Because let's say you, you want to go to the Box Fan Expo and you want to go to Canelo vs. Golovkin. Now you don't get Canelo vs. Golovkin. So I don't know who they're going to replace it with. But let's say it's Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Some people might say, nah, cancel it. Cancel Christmas. I'm not going to Vegas spending a couple thousand or whatever, a couple hundred dollars to watch Triple G versus Spike O'Sullivan. I keep it a buck. You know what I mean? That might not be worth it for some people. I got to take a week off from work. I got to spend all this money. I got to get the hotel for a fight that I'm not really checking for. You know what I mean? Listen, y'all know I keep it real on the channel. Y'all know I keep it real. Ego's army. That's why I got the fatigues on. I was ready for war. Listen, if Golovkin, I feel bad for Golovkin. Let's let's be clear on that. I feel bad for him because in this dude, he didn't fail a drug test. He didn't get popped dirty for nothing, and he still got to suffer. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm just being real. If he fights like a Gary, let's say Gary Spike O'Sullivan or some shit, if he fights that ne him next that can't be on HBO pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis or some crazy fight that you probably don't wanna make to make that card a pay-per-view card. I'm sorry. I'll watch it if it's Gary Spike O'Sullivan, but I, you can't you can't say that's a pay-per-view event. Canelo messing up the money, man. And he messing up his own money.
listen. I'm going to give y'all perspective, even if y'all don't want to hear it, man. The Mayweather curse is so real. At first, I'm like, man, get that. Get out of here. Mayweather curse. It's real, people. The Mayweather curse is real. Mayweather will curse your ass. Listen, we have almost 500 people in here. We got to get the likes up because I still haven't even packed. Listen, I'm covering the fight at Islani Lada versus uh, Jared Hurd. We got to get those likes up because there's no way I could be on here live streaming if, if if the numbers ain't matching. Boxing is a business. We trying to work. So if you want to extend the, the life and length of the stream, y'all got to smash the like button. We got far too many people in here for the all these comments to be flowing with, with not that, well, not close to the amount of likes as, as viewers. Uh, shout out to TC. She says, I like, she says like people. Um, the Mayweather curse is real people. I'm gonna tell y'all why, because everybody that goes in on Floyd like that, it like just a short time later, you always see like these crazy, that Mayweather curse, the Mayweather curse will get, <gasps> that Mayweather curse is coming. Big ugly eyes. Okay, do you feel better now? <laughs> you got big ugly eyes, okay. You ain't a female. Var Vegas web designer, $2 super chat. Sub ego, who are the next top five contenders? I, I mean, I don't really know. That's a golden boy slash K2 decision. But the people, the names I've heard are Jamie Munega, whoever that is. Um, Dervinchenko stepped up. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre said he'll step up and fight him. Um, top rank, Bob Aram, Verified Pay said Gilberto Zudo Ramirez will step up. And Spike O'Sullivan. Those are the names that I've heard. Gary Spike O'Sullivan, which is beat Antoine Douglas. I don't know about Billy Joe Saunders. That'll be good if they can save it with that. Because at least it'll be for Undisputed. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that Mayweather curse, listen, I'm going to tell you why the Mayweather curse is real, people. Because everybody, they say the, these chastising things at Floyd and then the, like Ronda Rousey. Remember, she was at the height of her career. Shout out to Big Time. We got, we got some super chats. You know, I got to show love to the people who are supporting the channel in that way. Big Time, $10 super chat. Do you think Canelo's A-side status will be affected by that? Nah. Because that's like, that's like saying Broner's A-side status is affected by him like losing to Madonna, like he still was known, he's still popular. I do videos about Bruno, still get views, so I don't think his A side, his reputation, now that's different. Reputation could be affected by it, but I don't think his star power, like, because even if people are hating, even if people are hating, they're still talking. They'll still talk about Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, I don't think his hate. Listen, I get hate, you know what I'm saying? So hate don't do nothing. When these paychecks come in, it, they, don't, they don't have no hate deductions on them. You know what I mean? When Google send me that check, it don't say um, hate and then deduct 23% off my check. So, I mean, even if people are mad at Canelo, he's still popular. Damn, damn, I feel bad for y'all, man. Someone said, it looks like my Cinco de Mayo is ruined. He's canceling his barbecue. You ain't no dame celebrity. First of all, you can't even spell. You ain't no dame celebrity. Bro, like I said, I'm not gonna argue. I never said I was a celebrity, but when I go to the fights, people show love. Whether you like it or not, that's the case. That's the reality of the situation. And if, if people don't know me, they damn sure don't know you and you can't spell. So go back to school before you step to the God, before you step to the dawn. No, like, and at the end of the day, y'all can't roast me when you watching me. Straight up, Raul, Raul. Like, you know what I'm saying? You why? You ain't no damn celebrity. Why'd you click on the video then? I'm your celebrity, Killmonger. Man, my shooters got him because we're not playing these games. Like, yeah, y'all get mad at the truth. Damn the truth. 
you can't you can't hate on you're not no you're not popular you're no celebrity okay, why are you watching me then like uh, i'm not watching you i don't go to your channel and be like hey what let, let me hear your thoughts on canelo but whatever i, I don't have to be a celebrity you could say i'm insta fame i don't care about that type of shit i'm just telling you the reality i try to focus on reality and the reality of this canelo situation canelo fucked up yeah okay i <laughs> Man, Denzel would have a field day with, with Canelo. Denzel would be like, yeah, okay, Canelo. Nello. <laughs> I didn't know you like to get wet, though. Sherm, Dust, PCP, Primos, Clin Clin, Buterol. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know you like to get that Buterol, though. <laughs> yeah. You want to... So now you... Now you're gonna do like a guy without a condom. You're gonna pull out. That's what you're telling me. You're gonna pull out of this fight. Yeah, you you're gonna do like a motherfucker at the <laughs> at the bank. You're gonna withdraw. That's what you're telling me. Huh? I'm waiting to hear cut the beard. Man, these dudes be weird. <laughs> I told you they be on that Michael Jackson. If y'all ever seen the bad video, you ain't bad. Ah, you ain't nothing. My life never be the like, like I don't come. I don't pretend to be bad, tough. And, you ain't bad. That dude Raul was in here hot. Just, they they want to hate so bad. Like, you ain't no celeb. You ain't nothing. Like okay, I'm not nothing. Keep watching me. But yeah, man, Canelo, Canelo, man. Damn, you just now saw Black Panther? He said, I saw Black Panther yesterday. Good film. Damn. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. You was in the theater by yourself. <laughs> it was like Wakanda. You was just chilling. Like Robert De Niro and Cape, Cape Fear. <laughs> Remember when Robert De Niro had that? <laughs> but that's a, this, you was in the theater watching a the movie like that. You had the whole Cineplex to yourself. Well, ego is a celebrity if fighters give him love. That, listen, I'm not even arguing with that. As long as I know what it is and what it ain't, you know what I'm saying? And I get love in these streets, then it is what it is. I I, I have boxers and they'd be like, thank you, thank you. Like, you thanking me to interview you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Whatever, let them hate. Shout out to my dude, D-Bevel. Uh, uh, ego Army, $5 super chat. If Canelo gets suspended, Canelo is getting suspended. I put money. Listen, if Canelo don't get suspended, I will have a sweepstakes and I'll, I'll give away some kind of prize. He's getting suspended. You don't pull out of He's getting suspended. Trust me. Can we still have a fight on pay-per-view in Mexico? No. Listen, they're not going to do all that. Hell no. Because now you lose some American media because some people can't get to Mexico or they don't have passports or whatever. They're not going to do all that. If Mexico, Mexico is a great place, but if it was so popping for major marquee fights, then why is Canelo not fought any of his big names? Why didn't Amir Khan? And you got to look at the implications of the first fight. First fight was a bit controversial. So if the if Adelaide Bird, you know what I'm saying, provided a fucked up scorecard, what's uh, Chico Gonzalez going to do in Mexico? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Elias, <laughs> Elias Gutierrez, like, what, what the fuck is his scorecard going to look like? Golovkin ain't fighting. I know Golovkin said he would fight in Mexico, but he not fighting because he's going to be fighting against Elias Rojas Gonzalez Gutierrez and their scorecard, too. You know what I mean? He was mad at Adelaide Burr's scorecard. Go fight him in, in somebody else's backyard. That shit would be even... It'd be like that fucking Italian referee. Ego cut that beard. They care so much about my beard. Uh, that's how y'all say I ain't a celebrity, but that's how I know I must be doing something right, y'all. Dude, men, men care about cut your beard, man. I don't even like it like that. You know, whatever. Everybody type S U S. That's sus. But um, yeah, they're not gonna fight in Mexico. I don't see that. People like Antonio Margarito is fighting in Mexico because his eye is gonna fucking fall out. You know what I'm saying? He fought Carson. Carson Jones and his shit was right here with it. like yeah so if if, if Golovkin felt he got dealt a raw, raw hand with Adelaide Bird scorecard I don't see him going into, into Mexico to fight you know what I mean 
and then that's even worse because like uh, hey like li just listen to what you said d i know you i know you know you're a boxer but just listen if like if canelo popped dirty from going to mexico and now you're gonna fight the motherfucker in the location in which he got the tainted meat where the rules are gonna be vastly different you know what i mean then he gonna be eating all the meat he wanting it he, oh i'm strong you know what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. I would. Would you? Would you? If he got, he, he ate the meat in Mexico. Would you fight him in Mexico? Motherfucker eating whole horses and cow. Hell no. Nah. I would never fight. If you, if you failed just on a on a three day vacation, I'm not fighting you out there. Cause then it's, anything goes. You might as well have a fucking Royal Rumble, and then Golovkin hit him with the steel chair. Bing. Uh. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> Give him the people's elbow. Ah, yeah, he ain't gonna fight me. So. Shout out to my dude, Manuel Gabriel, $2 Super Chat. He says, make that money, Ego. See, they want to hate so bad. They want to hate. But let us be great. Ego's army. Yeah, man. Canelo, he, he did himself a disservice, people. He really did this time. And I like Canelo. And you take my word for it or whatever. Listen to my past video. I mean, y'all was saying I was a Canelo dick rider, dick sucker, and all this extra stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, man. It's just, it's not a good look. I know the, the, the people who aren't realistic like me, the Canelo apologists, they're going to be like, oh, no, this is unfair and it's biased. And it doesn't make him look bad. It makes him look bad. Just like OJ Simpson. <laughs> he got off. Do you think there's not motherfuckers out there who still think he did the murder? He got a killer walk. I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. You know what I mean? So, it's messed up. Smash the like button, people. We just, we just working a little bit. Um, I feel bad for Golovkin, but there's immense pressure for them to try to fix this situation and get a um, a good fight going. And listen, this this is crazy. This is, boxing is crazy. Um, who do I want to see Golovkin fight? I want to see him personally on a personal. I don't know. Gilberto Zordo Ramirez. I think it might be the out of the names I've heard. That would probably be the best option. It's a challenge because it's at a new weight. And based on Zuro's style, and he's Mexican on a Mexican-American, Americanized Mexican holiday, Cinco de Mayo, right? So that would, I think that would be ideal. You know what I mean? If not, I would, I personally would like to see Demetrius Andre, but Andre doesn't have that, the type of activity. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have the type of activity and it's not gonna be as big of a fight. But I like I personally would like to see it as a boxing fan. So I would say him and Derek Vinchenko, those would be good fights, or or Billy Joe Saunders. But the thing with Billy Joe Saunders is like Billy Joe Saunders was openly he was openly he avoided Golovkin at one point in time. You know what I mean? So now he was injured in his Martin Murray fight and never happened yet, because he he had like a, I think a hand injury or something. So he's on the sidelines for that. So with so little time to prepare, are you gonna really fight a major unification with all these belts at stake and maybe not be your best? That's kind of messed up. Um, some people said Daniel Jacobs, that's, that's a good rematch. But I mean, if they can get Seleski out of the way, I mean, that would be a good fight, a good rematch. But, hey, listen, I got to keep it a buck. HBO Boxing. <laughs> hey, HBO, man. Everybody listen to this. You got to do something, man. I mean, I, I talked to Deontay and Gerald Miller. You know what I mean? You got to do something, HBO. Because, listen, let's say they get recruit Jacobs, pull him from the Seleski fight, which was a good fight, right? They pull him from that fight. He's probably around the same part of training camp as Golovkin. He he wants a rematch, right? Then what happens to the Seleski card? The April, I think it's April 28th. What happens to that? Is Gerald Miller gonna be the headline now? 
So that card would be in shambles. Unless you're going to put Gerald Miller, Johan Duhapas as a main event. Or replace it with another fight as a main event. But either way, it's all last minute. It's, what is it, April 3rd, April something? So, the you know, fighter's going to have a month to train and shit. Um, listen, if it's, if it's Triple G versus Gary Sullivan, you can't. I can't. Uh, that's not pay-per-view. Do Mike Tyson. I, I'm so ecstatic. I, I'm pissed. Can, Canelo, he had the clenbuterol. It was in his system. He had it in his system. Now, no fight. There's no fight. If he doesn't kill him, it doesn't count. That's, I'm just... I'm, I'm so disappointed because cause I'm, I'm so disappointed that we don't have... <laughs> That's how Mike Tyson would, would break the... Hey, they need to fuck around and get Tyson crazy ass as a commentary. I was looking forward to the fight. I wanted to see Gennady, Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo, but now I'm so disappointed because cause I... I you know. <laughs> That's how Mike Tyson... Because cause after Cuz died, I just knew that nobody could fucking beat me because I... Oh, fucking <laughs> That's how Mike Tyson would do it. Hey, I went to Mexico. I, I was in Mexico. I was like there. I was like like three times I was there. I was in Mexico and I, I fucking punched the cow on and I cut it open and I, I started to eat it and I started to eat it. I'm, my stomach was feeling bad. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, I think I gotta take a shit. I had to sit. And then after I, I realized I, I realized that I might fail the test because I have computer all in my system. I'm, I'm so ecstatic, man. I, I, I ate the meat. <laughs> I ate the meat, guy. <laughs> That's how Mike Tyson would do it. It's spinal. I, I punched the cow and then I cut it open and then I ate the meat and, and in my stomach I had the bubble guts. You know, in your stomach like blue, 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 and then you get the bubble guts. That's what I had. I had because Gus always told me drink some Pepto Bismols. You gotta drink the Pepto. It's ludicrous. It's a, see, y'all just, <laughs> y'all throwing out words and shit like this is a freestyle rap and they just say the word. And... You ever ate a cow's testicles? Like, what the fuck? Might be saying crazy shit. Hey, that interview where he was like, I wish, he's like, I wish all of y'all had kids fucking kick him in the fucking head and stomp in the testicles because that's the pain I wake up with. Like, what the fuck kind of pain you got? What the fuck kind of pain is that? That motherfucker said, I wish all y'all had kids fucking kick them in the fucking head and stomp on their testicles because that's the pain I wake up with. Bro, you need to see a doctor. If you waking up with pain like that, that makes you want to maim kids and stomp on their testicles. Like, I ain't never woke up with that. I woke up with migraines and my shit don't be feeling like all that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. Oh, y'all giving me the tips for these in person? Yeah, okay, big time. You wanna you wanna give me a five dollar super jack because I'm I'm killing these impersonations. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hey, I'm just saying, I ain't never I woke up drunk, hungover, migraines sleepy i ain't never woke up with that type of pain watch the interview mike tyson was like he was like i just i just wish all y'all have kids before i could kick them in the fucking head and stomp on their testicles because that's the pain i wake up with like damn i don't know i i'm not from brownsville maybe that's some brownsville pain that i don't know i'm i'm in the bay area people so i don't know maybe it's different maybe we maybe we got maybe that's some east coast pain and I only can get West Coast pain, but I, I never wanted to stomp on any of y'all kids' testicles. I never I never wanted to kick them in the fucking head either. We working, people. Shout out to Brownsville. Mm, yay area. You know I put on for the city. You know I put on for the state. I put the state on my back. Who's doing it like us? That part. We working, people. I've been feeling good. I mean, mine is bullshit like this Canelo shit. I've been feeling good. That shit has me crying. That dude is a psychopath. Yeah, he used to say, I, I love Mike Tyson. He's my favorite fighter. Him and Roy Jones. I, I tell you guys at the same time who my favorite fighters are. But Mike Tyson, but he used to say some wild shit. Like, there's an interview where he's on ESPN, I think live or some shit. 
and he was like, hey, Mike, I heard you weren't training at the club. You were at, or he said, I heard you weren't training for your club, your fight, you were at the strip club. And he was like, yeah, I, I gave I gave the stripper, I gave her a lap dance, because that's what I like to do. Like, and he's like, hey, wait, so you gave the stripper the lap dance? And then Mike Tyson was like, yeah, because that's what I, sometimes I like to get wild. The stripper, she butt naked, I like to give her the lap dance. Freaky Friday. I reversed the roles, trading places. Like, what are you talking about? Listen, I ain't never gave no stripper no lap dance. Ooms, 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 ooms. Like, what are you talking about? The motherfucker said he gave a stripper a lap dance. <laughs> ooms, ooms, ooms. Hell no. Nah. Who goes to the stripper? You should tip me. Like, damn, you trying to get the chip from the stripper, bitch. <laughs> I just like to go to the club and, you know, they work so hard that I want to give them a break and, and I give them the strip, I give them the strip tease. I give them the strip tease. I give them the oops, oops, oops. That magic mic. Friday, my pal, my saddle. Ugh. That man said he give the stripper Pensacola we talk tonight. He said he give the strip death. I just like to I like to go to the club and I, I there's one thing that Cuff taught me. He said that no matter what, you always gotta train hard. And you gotta give strippers lap dances. I just like to give the strip like like this. <laughs> I like to give the strip in love. I like to do it for the strippers. Like, man, they call me Magic Mike. They don't call me Magic Mike for nothing. They don't call me Magic Mike for nothing. Uh, I'm the real man. The, the, the original. The original Magic Mike. Uh, Brownsville all the way. Hey, let me stop before they try to flag me and give me a copyright. You, yeah, don't, 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 don't try to do me like that. Don't try, YouTube, we just having fun. Fair use. <laughs> no, just playing. <sighs> I'm the original Matthew Mike. You seen the movies? I was, I was right here with it. God told me to be right here with it, like Omarion. Like, hell nah. Mike Tyson, you a wild boy. <laughs> Someone said while Robin Gibbons was... So Robin, I asked her to make some hamburger help us. He didn't want to make it. So I was like, make the fucking... Make the, you make the fucking hamburger. Never mind. They'd be like, oh, ego's promoting domestic violence. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> hey, did you... <laughs> Hey, we lost some we lost some viewership for the genuine. Like, oh my gosh, this channel's worse than animals. I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> Good, leave. I want y'all gone. I don't even want subscribers. I've been there, done that. Listen. Oh my god. Oh my word. I came here for Canelo news. Look at this guy dancing to genuine's pony. <laughs> See, but the money's still coming in. Shout out to the super chat. Thomas Devine, ten dollars super chat, gang gang, on gang gang. <laughs> Y'all better stop laughing, cause that's what gets me in trouble, cause I keep doing it. We supposed to be talking about uh, Canelo and Clint Buterol and all types of tainted meat. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that taint. Let's talk about that taint. That sound weird. Talk about. Let's talk about that taint. <laughs> that taint. The black channels, they just talk about dumb shit. They want to talk about tainted me. I run YouTube, run boxing, stream king. Y'all know what it is, man. Eagles Army, new media. Hey, Canelo, you fucked up. Hey, Canelo, you fucked up. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Hey, Canelo. Knock, knock. 
Who's there? You. You who? You fucked up. Hey, Canelo, you fucked up. Man, I'm, I'm kind of hot right now. I was about to go to Vegas. I'm trying to get these strippers that. I'm trying to get it. I'm on my Mike Tyson shit. I want to get these strippers these lap dances when I go. I'm about to go to the girl collection. Like, I'm not your boy, toy. I know what I'm saying. Hell no. Nah. I was trying to get my Mike Tyson on at the girl collection. Like, where Floyd at? Where Floyd at? Where Floyd? Where money made? Now, I don't even know if I'm going to go. Shout out to my dude from Las Vegas, D Bevel, the champ, with another $5 super chat. He says The Rock needs to do another announcement about the fight being off now. Hey, you're tripping. Bro, you're tripping. Girl Collection is the number one spot at eight. I never win. Man, this whole situation is messed up. That's, hey, Canelo. Y'all got me looking like PD Crack and shit on here. One foot PD Crack, make that thing go ring. <laughs> one foot PD Crack. PD PD and CD PD. <laughs> oh my God. So it said, if you smell what the Canelo is cooking, y'all tripping. <laughs> so it said, Oscar files for bankruptcy. Nah, Oscar gonna try to sweet talk this. Oscar, hey, I know, I know it looks bad. I do believe, I believe you. I do believe. <laughs> Hold on, y'all got me in my zone. This is how Oscar would, yeah. I know the whole situation with Canelo, it looks bad. I do believe, I do believe it looks bad. But Canelo, he ate to me. <laughs> Hell no. This looks bad, man. <laughs> and Canelo has a strong case strong case to fight Golovkin. Like, no, he's not fighting Golovkin next. That, man, this, this whole thing is horrible. Now Canelo, listen, oh my gosh, people, smash the like button. Smash the like button. I just thought of something. Yo, we need 400 likes like ASAP. Smash the like button, people. The black channel. Listen, Canelo ain't fought since September. So if he gets suspended till at least September, he gonna have like a year layoff. That's crazy. Not everyone's Floyd and Canelo ain't Floyd. He's sweet in there and he be on the ropes and doing his shit, but his feet are slow. You know what I mean? He's not, he's not exactly like Floyd. So it's like, that's damn. He's going to be out of the ring at least a year by the time he does fight anybody. Man, Canelo, why? Shout out to Triune Boxing Talk, $2 Super Chat. Mauricio Suleiman, pretty stu looking stupid, pretty stupid right now, LOL. <laughs> Why you say that? Because he said Canelo can't be found guilty. Damn. Yeah, De La Hoya's gonna come out with some, try to sweet talk and soothe the situation. I do believe that Canelo he has the blueprint to beat this. Like, he ain't got the blueprint to beat it. They're going to suspend him. Oscar, they're going to suspend him. Oscar, Oscar. They're going to suspend him. I don't see it going no other way. Um, What am I drinking? Uh, it's called Blue Buddha. It's an organic wellness tea. Raspberry hibiscus and Ashgard. Or, I don't know what that says. Wakanda. Shout out to Wakanda. Wakanda juice. 
Is this a boxing channel or SJW channel? What does SJW even mean? I don't know what that is. What's SJW? Y'all know what that acronym means? What's SJW? What's SJW, man? Social justice war? I know you're a dweeb. Uh, is this a boxing channel or a social justice warrior? What the fuck is? I don't even know what that is. Like, that's a social. Ju How am I a social justice warrior? What are you talking? Y'all be listen. Y'all be coming to my channel saying some stupid shit. Is this a boxing channel or a sort social justice warrior channel? What? Like, bro, you mad because Canelo getting suspended? That's not my fault. I like Canelo, but the reality that's what it's looking like you're talking about social justice where like what like i've been more than fair with this situation more than fair with canelo bottom line is this you don't have to be politically correct to be fair and at the end of the day that doesn't mean you're being approved canelo fucked up that's what it is he him and his team they got they got butchers on the team they're from mexico they ate the meat and they know the implications. They know how big the fight was. Maybe for that three months or whatever. Because listen, let's say you failed a test, an out of fight test. That's something. That's something else. You know what I mean? But you failed an in competition pre fight test. That makes it look way worse. You get me? So, I mean, it just doesn't look good. It does, there's no way. Listen. Social justice warriors are people who join a political cause for social points or pity. That's what I'm saying. That's why he sounds like a dweeb. Scram. I think one of my shooters got him because I'm not doing anything for pity. I, listen, what is there to pity? I'll be in Vegas. I'm about to gamble and about to cover this fight and eat good. I don't, there's nothing for me to pity. My Everything's going good for me. I'm not under no pressure. I didn't have it. I didn't eat the meat. So I, it don't affect me like that, but whatever, man. Yeah, man, these dweebs got to scram. Damn right, ego living it up. Man, I just enjoy life. I enjoy you. I'm blessed. I've, I feel I've worked hard for to build up the brand. We're not, you know what I mean? We never stop, you know what I mean? You all, there's always further you can go. And that's what we're just trying to see. YouTube was messing with someone's money, I guess. That's crazy. These shootings can't be coincident. Yeah, but that's that's dumb. <laughs> you don't want to give me my money, so I'm going to storm the office. That's, that's dumb. Now you really ain't getting no money because you're going to be in fucking jail or dead. Stay humble, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, what, who are you guys? What do you mean, stay humble? What, what did I say? Listen, I am a forthcoming, truthful person. If you don't like it, this probably is not the channel for you. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? And, and real talk, like, y'all don't have, like, put my phone, what's my phone number? You don't know because you don't have it. So realistically, you guys know me from boxing. You don't know what I do in my personal time. You don't know, you know what I mean? Because I don't share that. I'm a private person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't know me to judge. I don't have a 310 number. Yeah, man, but yeah, the whole Canelo situation. That's what I'm, Ego has not dogged anybody on here. That's what I'm saying. Here, be humble. Like, what, what do I do? Like, I'm just throwing money or something. I ain't talking about be humble. What happened? So if you're, if you're, in case you're just joining the stream, what happened is Canelo had a, a meeting at the Golden Boy offices and he announced that he's withdrawing from the fight. So before the April 18th hearing, he's made the decision to actually just pull out of the fight and withdraw. So he, he's telling, so basically before the, we, we knew the outcome was, it was trending towards the fight being canceled, but he's just telling you like, I'm bowing out. You know what I mean? Or Richard Nixon, I am not a crook. <laughs> like this is, you know what I mean? This is Clint gate. And he's telling you, um, I'm resigning. So I don't get impeached. You get what I'm saying? I am not a crook. So he, he just called the fight off. 
very it's a detrimental blow people like I, I was really i was gonna go to vegas i probably still will just because um the box fan expo it's a fun event you know some people there but if you want tickets the link's in the description box you can purchase tickets through your boy boxing ego helps out the channel um i hope i just hope they they have a good replacement for for triple g you know what i'm saying I feel bad for Triple G, and I hope they have a good replacement for him. Um, I mean, this is not his doing. He didn't like it. it see, l listen, we got to bring boxing back to reality because um, some of y'all put crazy stuff. Like I see people say stuff. Oh, Triple G's scared. <laughs> That's how I know when you're not making sense. When you're gonna blame this on Triple G. You don't blame the victim. He didn't do nothing. Like to, to our knowledge, he hasn't been busted for nothing. He ain't been busted for nothing. SJW confirmed. Hey, shooters, get a muck out of here. A muck 101. We gonna confirm. We gonna confirm you up out of here. With the, all this, listen. When this is what they do, when when they don't want to hear, you can laugh. Okay, I'm exposed. But this, hey haters, we show them how a muck 101 gets exposed here on this side. I'm exposed, but you gonna be exposed once these shooters target you. Shooters, his name is a muck 101. I'm trying to hear you, but you are hating. Okay, well we about to hate for real up in the. Hold on, should I do a hot seat? Y'all want a hot seat? Y'all want a muck to get the hot seat? Nobody block him. No, no, no. Fuck. Listen, I was trying to get him. I was trying to get him, man. See, listen, how is this all? Like, let's, the reality of the situation, I didn't fail anything. I didn't do anything. I'm just giving you guys the facts and my opinion on the facts. You you get me? So, like, how am I hating? What, what do I have to hate on? What I, I just told you, this is unfortunate. I was going to go to the fight. I still might go for the Box Fan Expo. So what did I hate on? Why would I hate on something that I was planning on attending? Listen, hold on. I'm in my bag now. Look. That's me. I went to the first fight. You know what I'm saying? So what is, why would I hate on something I was going to go to? Humble yourself, evil ego. <laughs> hey, shout out to Luis Guerrero for being a dweeb. Humble myself. For what? What like what did I say that was not humble? I just said I was going to go to a fight. Hey, bro, I don't have time for this. Y'all are funny. Humble yourself. You be humble. <laughs> All right, Kendrick Lamar. Um, yeah, it's it's unfortunate, people. I don't predict Broner fights anymore. Box Fan Expo ticks link in the description. Yes, you guys can purchase tickets through through me having a, a link. Um. I don't play poker. I don't play poker. You know, actually, I forgot how to play poker. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not well versed in it. Yeah, man. They might rematch in September. That's definitely a possibility. Yeah, it's a bad look for Canelo. Either way definitely a bad look just because it's like I mean you're the guy that has to pull out so I mean I don't see how that's a good look I, I, man I really hope they give I really really hope they get a a good opponent a solid opponent for um, what's the name Triple G.
I know you don't cover MMA as much, but you think about Holloway stepping up for Khabib. I mean, it's just disappointing. Like, how many times, like, Khabib missing weight and pulled out of some fights recently? Tony Ferguson's hurting. It's just unfortunate. I'm trying to see the fight that was happening. Not all these substitute fights. In boxing and the UFC, you know what I mean? Would I want to see Triple G versus Jamal Charlo? Of course. But see, this is the thing. All the middleweights have actual fights. You get what I'm saying? Like, everyone had scheduled fights before we knew about this Canelo situation. Jamal Charlo was supposed to fight March 3rd against Hugo Centeno. He had a rib injury, so they pushed it to April 21st. Danny Jacobs has a fight, like, April 28th against Madge Zaleski, right? So it's like the middleweights that could replace him easily um, are not available they already have their own fights david lemieux looked like horse shit and golovkin already beat him but he didn't look good versus billy joe saunders billy joe saunders was injured i don't know if he's 100 percent back sergey derevinchenko that could be a good fight but listen listen i'm gonna tell you boxing is a business we all know it's a business but at the end of the day it doesn't the business, Dervinchenko doesn't really, he could provide a good, listen, there's a ton of guys that could provide good fights to people, but if you look at a fight of this magnitude to go from Canelo to Dervinchenko, and Dervinchenko is a good fighter, but he doesn't have the star power or any type of major name, only the hardcore fans will know him, so that's, to me, that's a huge detriment to a high profile fight, and the other thing is part of the Listen, why is why is Triple G is is Triple G Mexican? No. Why is Triple G gonna fight? Because these were the Mexican dates. These were Canelo's date. That's why he was choosing to fight on this particular date. So now you have a, a main event on an Americanized Mexican holiday with no um uh, no Mexican star or Mexican fighter. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so that that's another detriment because that's part like it's like no, I mean Floyd, he's the blue, he's the cultivator of all this. He's the architect. That's why he fought a lot of Hispanic and Latino fighters on the Mexican dates. You know what I mean? Because it was certified money. Latinos are some of the biggest fans in boxing that will shell out money. We know this. <clears throat> so now you got a um, a main event with potentially, because I don't know who they're gonna choose potentially no Mexican fighter you know what I mean and like and really do they have any Mexican fighter on the card I mean yes Ryan Garcia he's Mexican but what what I'm talking about is like to me Ryan Garcia that's my dude but he's he's a Mexican American and you got to understand Mexican culture and Mexican culture some people are look looked at as like Chicanos you know what I mean like you don't speak Spanish um certain demeanors things like that so I'm, I'm trying to think of an example certain certain fighters are looked at as as like 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 eric morales marco antonio barrera is anybody looking at them like ryan garcia like them you know what i mean not saying he's not a good fighter but i'm saying they're not looking at it's just like danny garcia too you know what i mean Danny Garcia did that Spanish speaking, and he was like, C, 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 no C, uh, no K, C, C. Like, what? But you don't, it's just, it's a cultural thing. It's hard to really explain, but the way they look at Felix Tito Trinidad, do you think, even though Danny Garcia is of Puerto, Puerto Rican heritage, do you think they look at Danny Garcia as, the, as what they did to Hector Macho Camacho? You know what I'm saying? The way they looked at Felix Tito Trinidad. Did they look at Danny Garcia as like he's our Puerto Rican savior? No, you know what I mean? So you some of you guys understand what I'm talking about right away. Maybe it won't make sense to some of you guys. So that's that. So like I said, Derevinchenko is not a bad fight. It's not a bad fight at all, for real. But um, it is it's a it's gonna hurt this particular fight. Shout out to L Dog, New Zealand Fido Super Chat. Shout out to New Zealand, always holding it down. If Ego was the supreme ruler of boxing, what three fights would he want to see this year? Also, who should Triple G fight next? Charlo or Billy Joe Saunders? 
Uh, I I prefer him to fight Charlo because I like the style matchup better. And I, and if Charlo gets past Hugo Centeno and looks good, then that's the fight that I like stylistically better. But I mean, if you can't knock him, if you oh you want to be undisputed, get out of it. You know I mean you can't you can't be mad at him if he wants to be undisputed. So. I'm just saying, my, if I had my personal taste, I would say I would prefer the style matchup in the Charlo because they both have great jabs. I want to see who wins that jab battle. That that alone is interesting to me. Plus, they're more action guys um, and stylistically than Billy Joe Sunder. I know Billy Joe Sunder is going to try to box Golovkin like he did David Lemieux, befuddle him, make him look bad, which is cool. I mean, you know, the victory is a victory. Um, if I was Supreme Ruler, Anthony Joshua Wilder must. That needs to happen. Wilder responded with the offer. I did a video about it. Check on the channel. Uh, Keith Thurman, Errol Spence. And then I would say Terrence Crawford, Mikey Garcia, or Mikey Garcia, Lomachenko. Those are the three fights that are really sticking out right now. There's a lot of good fights, but those, those are the fights that I would like, man, I would really get hyped for. Um, yeah, I like that list. Um... Yeah, man. Hey, smash the like button. We're going to see if we can get to 500. I'm probably going to end this stream after talking about Canelo a little bit more because I got to get to this De uh, Deontay Wilder um, situation. I wanted to talk about that. But I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to... It's hard on live streams, but I'm going to try to categorize these live streams a little bit better so there's more of a, a focal point. You know what I'm saying? Even though we bounce around, which is cool, and that's not going to change. Hey, bro, um, in your opinion, who do you think won the first fight with Triple G or Canelo? You know, I, I watched it live, and I never watched it in its entirety again. I had Triple G winning, but it was tight. It was close. It was a lot closer than people thought. Um, yeah, we're trying to get to 500 likes so we can wrap this stream up. Make sure y'all keep the likes coming in. We're just talking about the Canelo situation. Canelo Alvarez is likely to be suspended and fined. He, listen here let me tell you guys this there's a minimum peace out to one of my shooters he has somewhere to be um ron finkley appreciate you um canelo he faces a minimum of one year suspension minimum but they have like some kind of good behavior program which i don't know all the details but i'm assuming it's stuff like you get tested when we want you to to get tested and pass and me might have to take a course or class or something and then they have like a good behavior program where they can cut it in half you're sentenced to six months so at best canelo can come back for september so yeah i mean really Canelo, the only reason people were in outraged or whatever was because of Adelaide Bird. I mean, if she had a reason, if, if she had a scorecard of 115 to 113, you know what I mean? Then it wouldn't have been that bad. But if she had Canelo winning 10 rounds, it's like, come on, get out of here, get out of here. Told you. Who are you? What do you mean? Told me. You told me what? I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you be. I don't know who you lost to. Motherfucker. I told you. See? See? Ego? I told you. Like, what? Who are you? Would you tell me? <laughs> Whatever. Y'all funny. Chris Eubank didn't look good versus George Groves. So if he didn't look good versus George Groves, had no good luck with Golovkin. Golovkin gonna be... Hey, Golovkin, how'd you beat Eubank Jr.? Hey, hey, Chris, Chris Eubank, I like him. I want, I like him. He, he's cool. He, he's not. His his punches. His, his his father, his father, good fighter. I respect him. But Junior, his punches. Tick 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 tick. It's not. Yeah, so I'm not. I'm not really trying. Me personally, tick tick tick. I'm not trying to see no Eubank. Off of the coming off that George, he showed heart for sure, but he didn't look good versus George Grove. Made no adjustments and was like, like on some rocky shit trying to. Nah, I'm not trying to say that. That's me personal. 
D Bevel the champ, five dollar super chat. First fight was a draw. Second fight was a withdrawal. Hey, D Bevel, get out of here. I'm done. I'm done. Stop it. He said first fight was a draw. Second fight was a withdrawal. Hey, I'm done. I told you, Ego Army, we got the funniest, literally the funniest audience. Mr. 2-3, two dollar super chat at work, talking like Wilder, cause of you, I'm so frustrated. Hey, I did a Wilder impersonation on, I'm so frustrated right now. I wanted to see Canelo try to win, win that right hand, I'm so frustrated. Shout out to you, Wilder boy, but you, Wilder be making up some words. He's like, it's gonna be an exciting fight. I'm so frustrated. Like, did you say exciting? And frustrated? Okay. But no one can say nothing because Wilder will knock you smooth out. You know what I'm saying? I can say it because he's new media and I'm cool with it. You know what I mean? Wilder does it. I see you, dog. But yeah, you can't. Hey, why are you talking like that? Hey. I'm so full. I told you I want to catch a body. That body gonna be you. Oh. In the arms of an angel. Hell no. Nah. I ain't trying to get hit with that water. Wilder got smoke. Hey, the muck got blocked three times and he still keeps coming back. Why? If y'all hate me so much on my channel, why do you guys come back? I, I never understood that. This channel fucking sucks. You, you fucking sucks, dude. You're out of here. This channel blows. And then you keep coming back. You just gonna hear Crossroads as soon as Wilder can... Wow. That's what I'm saying. I'm so frustrated. Oh, sh... And I'm gonna miss everybody. And I'm gonna miss everybody. Living in a hateful world. Sending us straight to heaven. Hey. Why they kill my dog and man? I miss my uncle Charles. Yo, he shouldn't be gone in front of his home when he didn't do that and wrong. Oh, gotta go home. Better be leading it. Hey, what a little ripster. <laughs> I fuck with Bone Thugs. That's my, Bone Thugs got classics. Get up. I see my sister was already dead. She run and go get my dad. Watch him make sure. What'd he say? Watch him make sure no one's snatching my check. Shut it up the mail, man. Ego, you gonna get the sponsor button? I'm not I'm not sure what you're referring to. I'm on the couch cracking the fuck up. Wilder be I'm so frustrated. I'm gonna send you to the crossroads. Joshua. Run, 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 Joshua. This is how I knew that Deontay Wilder was country. You know you country when you put that S on the end of words that don't have no S. You know what I'm saying? He'd be like, Eddie Hearns don't want to fight me. Like, it's Eddie Hearn. It's not Tommy. It's not like Tommy Hearn. It's, it's Eddie Hearn. Yeah, I feel you. But Eddie Hearns, you don't want to see the fight. Eddie Hearns. Like, it ain't Eddie Hearns, Wilder, but I'm going to let you keep saying it your way because you will knock me out. But... If he was like a little guy, then I would, I would correct you more, more frequently. Eddie Hearns don't want to see this fight. He keeps saying something about Shirley Winkle. But I'm going to give Joshua a Winkle. I'm going to iron him out with, with, with this right <laughs> Why do we talking some shit? I like that shit. I like, hey. I don't know, maybe it's just where I'm from, but I like that. I like I like Wilder. Even Tyson Fury, he Tyson Fury was going off on that Joshua part. I wasn't even trying to laugh. Like I clicked on the video. You ever click on a video and you just like or a movie or something, you just you're not even expecting, but then you'd be like, ha ha. Hey, that Tyson Fury, he was like He's like, yeah, 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 bunch of like the UK is funny because they be using words that I don't really know about. Like we don't say certain things in the Bay Area, but like he was like a bunch of wooden tops, the paria, the paria, yeah, shit house, really, like, shit five, shit five, you, you charging 20 quid a pop, and I'll beat you at 25 stone. <laughs> that man said you a pair of wooden tops, the both of you. <laughs> he 
And he's like, your shit house, your shitty performance, your shit, your bum, bum city. <laughs> that motherfucker said, bum city. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, why you gotta be, he could be like, bum street, bum road. The motherfucker gave him the whole sit, a bum city. <laughs> Buffer said you bum city. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, the whole town. The whole town knows you're a bum bum city. You're bum. <clears throat> Shout out to the super chat, Just Mo. We just working, man. I'm so frustrated. We just got a three dollar super chat. Y'all don't wanna see me get these super chats. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> That's how that <laughs> That's how Wilder would do it. AJ Run, 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 and I will knock you out. I will knock you out. Alabama, baby. Deontay, the bronze bomber, wild. Send me a super chat I'm working to. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that. I'm so frustrated. Golden boy in trouble. That's a good. That's a good point. Um, I mean, that's their big star, and he's not really in a favorable light right now. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah, man. And he's like the last remaining like major, major star over there on Golden Boy right now. I mean, they're trying. I see. See, and that honestly, Golden Boy I think realizes it. That's why they're um, they're like kind of expediting the career of um. Ryan Garcia, like they're keeping him active because they're trying to really get him on on the track to be um, a star, to be a star right now. <clears throat> There's no dissonance amongst new media. I mean, listen, y'all y'all don't listen to like stuff. But people always want to create issues where there are no issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, truth be told, I don't have any issue with any YouTube channel. Like, you know what I mean? I'm cool with certain YouTube channels, like on a personal level, but not many. I can count on one hand who, like, who has my number. Um, but I don't. I mean, I just do me. I don't. I'm not. Worried, I'm worried about boxing. I'm worried about my channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, go, someone said Golden Boy better worry about Lenatis beating Lomachenko. That's another one because if if Lenatis gets no Moss and Chenko, and then if, if, if Pacquiao's, hey, hey, uh, Matisse, do, 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 and he hits the Matisse with the two, 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 damn, Golden Boy's whole squad taking L's. They better hope they win some of them big fights. Oh, we 25 likes away. Let's, let's keep it going, people. We almost at 500. We on the run, though. Yeah, man, just unfortunate for Canelo. Because like I said, the, the reality is even if it's... Even if it's tainted meat and stuff, people, some people aren't going to believe that, regardless. And either way, it doesn't look good because the fight got canceled. When's the last time y'all seen this? Where a fighter had to pull out of a fight, not because of injury, because it was inevitable that his fight was going to get canceled or something. I don't, I, will it affect his ranking? I, I don't know, because I don't know where he's ranked and where, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. He might get dropped from the ranking. I don't know. Now, actually, see, listen, let, let's talk. That's, I'm glad you brought that up. That's a very fair question, a good question. I don't know if it'll drop him from rankings or whatever, because, like, the WBC was supporting him. All of the sanctioning bodies, from what I read, like, they were, like, supporting him, especially the WBC. Now, listen. WC's cool. Uh, I know some people there, but listen, you got to look at it like this. WBC just had an issue with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? They had an issue where they were there was a standoff and they weren't seeing eye to eye and they're beefing or whatever you want to call it, right? And then as a result, they just mended that relationship when they fight when they thought the fight was still on. So if the WBC went against Canelo in the, in this situation, when he already was beefing with them and like not accepting their belts, when he um, when he um, fought Julio Cesar Chavez, he didn't accept their Wicho belt and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, they just mended their relationship. So I think they kind of have to support Canelo right now because if he felt that he was betrayed or they turned their back on him and tried to make him look bad in that situation, 
what's what's gonna happen if um, what's gonna happen if they said, oh yeah, Canelo needs to be punished, then he's really gonna be pissed off at him again, and they just fixed that relation. But see, this is the thing for for from a consistency standpoint. Deontay Wilder did that Breakfast Club interview, and he said something that he's been saying is, I want a body, I want to catch a body. And then because it was on the Breakfast Club, got good viewership and ratings, a lot of people were talking about it, more so than when he said it in the past. He was like, I'm so flustered. Angela Yee, I just want a body on my resume. I don't know, because when I turn to the Bronx Bomber, I can't control it, I'm so You know what I'm saying? He's talking his little shit. And then um, shooting from the hip. He said he wanted a body. Then the WBC, I heard they're investigating. I heard they're investigating him for those comments. But they keep doing interviews, Mauricio Suleiman doing interviews with about Canelo's clenbuterol. And they're like, yeah, we fully support Canelo. And we believe in him. And we believe it was tainted meat. And our investigation shows it was tainted meat. And you can't suspend him. Because that wouldn't make sense to suspend. So I'm like thinking as a as a as a fan and reporter, um, how is it that Wilder he's claiming he wants to kill someone but he hasn't killed him, and then that's against company policy and like the the rules of ethics and code of ethics or whatever, because he's talking shit as a professional athlete. Like I want, I want a body on my resume so bad, AJ. Tell Eddie Hearns to make the contract so I can catch my body. You know what I mean? And you're going to throw the book at him or investigate him for those serious comments, code of ethics comments. But then Canelo, he failed with two drug tests and you have a clean boxing program and you're saying that you support him and he didn't do it. That don't make sense. The shooter is a white woman. Wow. It's a lady. A female Caucasian shooter. Wow, this world is crazy, man. Breaking news, in case you haven't heard, uh, you might want to get on Twitter or Google, but I guess there's an active shooter at the YouTube headquarters. Um, crazy. And they're saying it's a woman. This world is crazy. Oh, wow. Hold on. Sma smash the like button. We we're trying to get to the bottom of it right now. And on your right, we're also showing you the map of YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. As you know, this is just north of San Mateo. This is the Bay Area, uh, where north I'm of at. Bay, near the SFO area, which um, is not too far away, but we're not seeing any reports of flights at SFO or operations there being affected. So far, it is limited to that immediate area. Crazy. But police mean business. They are asking people um, to stay away as police are there with their guns drawn. Residents have also been asked to stay away. Um, and right now, it is very tense. It is very tense. There are reports she coming for you. Of shots. Get off YouTube live, bro. Bro, you making YouTube's jokes and people's lives are at risk. Bruno. I mean, I, I hope you don't know think anything the joke about is worth any it. possible injuries. Up. We have not seen anyone taken out in stretchers or anything like that, so we can't tell you about injuries, but we can tell you that police are asking people to Active shooter stay at YouTube out headquarters, of the area. Bay Area, San Bruno. Uh, producers, if we get a chance, we can pull San up Francisco. the San Bruno police tweets and uh, Smash the like button. see what we we're talking about. We live. The San Bruno police telling people Breaking to news. stay out of the area. Um, we are also seeing tweets from people who, one of the YouTube producers, who's pretty well known, saying that he heard shots and saw people running while he's at his desk wow. inside YouTube. And he's barricaded inside a room with coworkers. Okay, now you're looking at Sky 7. They need to clap out her. A lot of the people who came out of the building, um, who have made it to safety, who are oh, located on the That's outer funny. edges of the campus with police around them. This is crazy, man. And you can see Hold some on. of the 1,700 people who work. Breaking news, people. In the YouTube building there in San Bruno, who have made it out safely. Smash the like button. We break news. Of the people who have exited YouTube. the building. Bay Area, San and, Bruno. And um, you know, obviously, even if they have 
one person and thinks she may be the one. Uh, Canelo canceled his fight too, breaking news. Continuing to pat down everyone, make sure there isn't a possible accomplice or a possible uh, other person. Oh, they're getting pat down as they exit the building, breaking news. No, and we've seen these scenes far too often with people with their hands up in the air, you know, mm -hmm. just making sure that they were not somehow involved in what happened. Evidence markers, and for those of us who've been at the y'all taking this hot seat, scenes, you know those usually YouTube indicate bullets being fired. Too far, man. Again, Steve Moore doing is with us this seat. afternoon. A uh, a former online. FBI expert. And when you heard that witness say it, just again, uh, the fact that there was rapid fire, we do know that witnesses can kind she of have different accounts after a traumatic event like this. But when you hear that term, rapid fire, what comes to mind? Well, it, it means it's one of 90% of guns on, on the planet, you know, semi-automatic guns. Wow. It, it, so he wasn't automatic. describing full automatic fire, you know, machine gun fire. He was describing semi-automatic, which means it could be, you know, and, and I, I'd love to be there asking him questions, but it, it there's an active shooter Bay Area, California, or a semi-automatic rifle of some type. Um, the speed at which he was describing the bullets going off or the rounds going off uh, indicates that it could be either. Um, so, and, and you know, if there's ten rounds, I mean, a, a lot of weapons uh, will hold uh, um, ten to fifteen rounds. Crazy people. Um, <clears throat> listen, listen, people. This is the breaking news that's going on right now. There's an active shooter at YouTube headquarters, my neck of the woods, very unfortunate, San Bruno. They're saying it's a female semi-automatic weaponry. I don't know how many people have been affected, shot, but prayers go out to them. Other news as far as boxing, Canelo Alvarez, I was born ready, has personally withdrew from the Golovkin rematch. May 5th, there is no fight with Canelo. Golovkin is likely to still fight, but we don't know. We don't know who he's gonna be fighting next. We're waiting on that. I hope it's someone like Gilberto Zordo Ramirez. That's a fair way to save the card. Mexican fighter who's tough, who's a champion at 168. So just the weight alone might be a challenge for Golovkin. It also um, helps with the, the festive Mexican dates because it's a, it would be against a Mexican fighter from Sinaloa. We're breaking right now. Huh? That's what's going on. That's what we're talking about. Smash the like button, people. I'm bringing it to you live and direct. It's getting crazy out here. I hate seeing this in big fights, people. I really do. Because, you know what? The one thing I will say, I'm glad this fight is getting canceled. I'm glad it's getting canceled. For the simple fact there will be no excuses. Because I, I told you, remember I remember listen, new media, you know, it's funny how like some of the stuff that we say, Pensacola, we talk tonight. We talk tonight. It's it's funny how a lot of stuff just listen to what's being said, people. Listen to who tells you what and who said what and who said what at what time and things like that. And the thing is, when it comes to um, I just feel like when it comes to this whole situation, I told you guys that I'm not really trying to see the fight or it's like it's losing luster because people are going to make all types of excuses. Now we don't, have to, I guess, have to worry about it. <coughs> you know what I mean? And then the other thing is, uh, like, if they did continue to fight, I want to see them fight where both heads are cleared and not worried about this bullshit going on in the background where it's properly promoted so the turnout and anticipation is there and all that stuff was ruined. So just like the WBC president said, I mean, there are all indications this fight was was going to get scrapped. They're, they're, all the indications were there. Listen, if you're just joining us, we're live. Canelo has withdrawn from the fight. Smash the like button. This is Ego Army, new media, Boxing Ego Channel. I will be in Las Vegas covering Edis Londi Lada versus Jared Swift Hurt. I did a video about it, and he says he can knock out Lurt. He can knock out 
heard. A lot of said that. We working people. Does this affect Canelo's legacy? That's up to the fans to decide. The fans will decide that, though. But it hurts Golden Boy for sure, and it hurts Canelo because it's just when's when when li listen all the people that be like listen i'm just gonna say this and then i'm probably gonna stop and we're gonna do another stream because i want to talk about deontay wilder but um and joshua listen all these people talking about floyd mayweather floyd had an iv when does floyd's fight got canceled when did floyd publicly have a, a withdrawal from his fight y'all let me know i'm gonna wait hold on we in our bag now let me know Cause we all go down because we all crew let me know when floyd pulled out of a fight with um a failed drug test two of them when did he do that because y'all keep saying like oh he had fluids and 80 805 milliliters okay when did he pull out a fight though you know what i'm saying You'd be like, how Cole Hauser, whoever the fuck he is, who is he? Where's he been? Cole Hauser said to Mayweather, he was IV fluid. Why didn't his fights get canceled? These fights, are he's, they could have made an example out of Floyd if what he did was so sacrilegious to the sport. But then you have, before his hearing, you have Canelo who's publicly pulling out. Like I said, listen to what people say then and now. Smash the like button, people, because we working. And we about to come back with another live stream to bang y'all over the head with this real boxing gospel. Mm. Um, listen to De La Hoya last year. De La Hoya said that Mayweather McGregor fucked that fight. He literally tweeted that. He said, fuck you, Mayweather. Fuck you, Connor. This, the fight is a sham. And it's a circus. What's looking more like a circus to y'all? I'm just asking the questions. What looks like more of a circus? How this Canelo Golovkin 2 situation has played out or Mayweather McGregor? Because once you got past the fact that one fighter was an MMA fighter who boxed in his childhood, but once you get past the fight that it, or the fact that it's a hybrid, nothing about that fight was really a circus. Uh, Connor tried his best, gave Floyd some, um, I guess, some decent work in the beginning. Floyd came and showed he was the better boxer and, and stopped Conor McGregor. The buildup was fun. The trash talking was fun. Press tour, um, training videos, and Paulie Malignaggi sparring Conor. I don't know. Hey, Paulie, I don't know what you're thinking. Mark my words, I will... <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was fun. So what was really more of a circus? How this fight is playing out, this whole due process with Canelo or Mayweather? Hello from Los Angeles. Shout out to L.A. LA, we up in here. California, we up in here. Pensacola, we talk tonight. Bay Area, we talk tonight. The West Side talk tonight on this channel. Listen, brief intermission. I'm going to be back. I'm going to probably go get some coffee. I want some coffee. They say they want me to do 50 voice, man. <laughs> hey, I got to get some coffee. Herb, make it hot. Hey, Ja Rule, I'm going to stop saying that because I know you like that fucking fruity, I think. <laughs> They want me, they want me in my bag, huh? Hey, Canelo had a clip I ate the meat, nigga. <laughs> hey, clip Buterol got me feeling real bulletproof for this motherfucker. The motherfucker cow meat bulletproof, Nick. Motherfucker had it bulletproof. But Doc say if I get hit in the head, I might get a fucking concussion. Do the Polly voice. How Polly would do it. Polly would be like. Why are you bragging about my side piece? I don't care. I don't care. It's my side piece. <laughs> Polly be all the red bug eye. Like, y'all talk about my eyes. Polly be doing the eyes like that, too. We both got big eyes. But we both know our shit when it comes to boxing. Why are you bragging about my side piece? Broda, Broda, you don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's my side piece. I took her. I met her at a club. I don't care. I like, that's how Polly would do it. Get the fuck out of here. You think Canelo you think ain't dirty? Oh, get, it. get the fuck out of here. Knit, bro, knit. If you think Canelo is innocent, knit. He need to start knitting. Like, damn. Man, I ain't just doing it. Y'all gotta listen, y'all gotta get these likes up. You want these impersonations. This is this is this is my gift. This is me acting. I act. Y'all want me to act and put on a show. Y'all gotta get these likes up for that. Listen, we're gonna take an intermission. 
We're gonna take an intermission. Donate for voices. I didn't say all that, but y'all can. Yeah, okay. Y'all want y'all wanna donate, huh? It's blue magic. I guarantee it. Like Pepsi. Someone said super chat for impersonate. Speaking of super chat, listen. We're gonna close this. Canelo, let's let's keep this in around Canelo Golovkin. So, because they say we venture off and we be talking about different stuff, but we like it. So, I'm going to end with the Q&A. Put Q&A in your question. Only about the middleweight division, Canelo, Triple G, Canelo canceling. And that's how we're going to close the stream. Smash the like button. If you leave a super chat with your question, no matter what denomination, $1, whatever, that those questions take priority. Let's go. And then I'm going to go get some coffee and come back. I got some stuff to talk about. Deontay Wilder. I'm so frustrated right now. Run, 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 Josh. Right? We're going to talk about that. Q&A, Jacobs versus Charlo. Great fight. I like it. I like both of them. They both got that headstrong demeanor. If they get past their next fights, a once beaten Hugo Centeno Jr. And actually, the funny thing is Danny Jacobs is fighting the guy that beat the guy that Jamal Charlo is fighting. So it's kind of like connects them or whatever. Um, it's a good fight. Charlo, I don't know who would win though. I really don't know. I got to see. Charlo's newer to the division. He looks like a monster, but I got to see a little bit more. Who's replacing Canelo? Listen, you guys got to put Q&A or leave a super chat so I can identify easily which ones are, are comments and which ones are questions. I don't know. It hasn't been replaced. I don't think anyone really has a, a solid this person and this person only because it hasn't been announced. Um, Q&A, Triple G versus Saunders. Good fight. Battle for Undisputed. Um, even though it's not a Mexican fighter in either on a Cinco de Mayo Mexican holiday or American Mexican-American holiday, it, it will do. Still a good fight. So if, if Saunders, since he pulled out of the Martin Murray fight, if he feels he'll be ready in, in a month, let's go. Boo Boo or Charlo, again, they're both new to the division. It's just a great fight. Let me see it. Q&A, Andre Charlo Jacobs, who is the best American middleweight? You guys keep asking the same question, kind of re revised. I'm not, I, I care about my, my opinions that I put out. Andre has one fight at middleweight against Alan Tez Fox. Charlo has one fight against um, Pinocchio. Now, I'm not taking anything away with him, but the dude's leg look all fucked up. So it's not enough for me to gauge. He beat the shit out of Jorge Sebastian Highland. So out of the whole list, Jacobs is the only one that has showed me at an elite level what he, he, he showed me. He can lose to Dimitri Perot, come back and knock out Peter Quillen, who I seen yesterday. Shout out to my brother, Peter Quillen. Um, he can come back, beat him, beat a crafty guy like Sergio Moore, not once, but twice. In my opinion, beat Golovkin. So... From that point of view, the only one I could really rate effectively, and that doesn't mean he'll beat all of them, is Jacob, just because we've seen. Look, chat. What does that mean? Hello, my friends. Listen, we might be able to get to 550. I don't know. That might be pushing it. But if y'all in here, we're closing this stream, and I'm going to go get some coffee. I'm going to come back and talk about this Wilder Joshua. Oh, fuck. I got to hurry up because I got to leave today. I'm, I haven't even packed. I will be in Vegas covering the Showtime card this week. Great fight card. Let's go, man. Actually, let me get off here right now. Smash the like button. We're almost to 550 people. If not, we'll pick that up on the back end on the replay. And listen, I don't know if some people are just so many people are watching it live. If you guys watch the replays, drop a comment. Say whatever you feel. The show sucked or whatever. But drop comments on the replays, even if you watch them live. Because the, the stronger we get and the more we grow, the more it shows YouTube who's, who's doing what they're supposed to be doing. And that's putting out this work. Yo, we're really close to 550 likes. Let's get it, people. The Stream King, we are the realest. If you just join... Wow, at least four people are hurt at the shooting at the YouTube headquarters. This is some bullshit, man. Straight up bullshit. That's... that's Prayers go out, man. This is a crazy world we live in. Crazy ass world. Oh, we gonna hit our numbers, people. We gonna hit our numbers today. Check out my man, Andres Fanfara. Um, I'm doing some work with him. So I'm gonna be in the, just, I'm just grinding. I'm, I'm, I'm grinding. Pacquiao's fighting Matisse, Canelo's fight got 
withdrawn. This is crazy. Whole game crazy right now. We still the realest in it. Gang, gang, let's get it. Ped, Nello. Q&A, do you have suspicions of Triple G after the Russian drug testing agency scandal? I don't even know about that. I don't know what you're talking about. Russian agency drug test. You're talking about the Olympic shit? Listen. See, this is this what, this what we're not going to do. Bottom line, Triple G ain't failed nothing. So whatever, even if you have speculations on a man, you can't, because Canelo is in a, in a certain light right now. You can't, this is what they want to do. They want to reverse stuff in boxing. You know what I mean? It don't work like that. You can't just reverse it, because Canelo is in an unfavorable light, and he actually failed. I'm not going to just start pointing the finger and speculating on everybody else. The fact is Canelo is the one with the situation, not Triple G. So I'm not gonna even like entertain what if, could have, a lot of these guys might be doing something, but it's not for me to just point the finger. I'm not dumb, I'm not naive. I know a lot of people are probably doing stuff, but I mean, I can't just start condemning. Let's go off of the fact, let's go off of who actually failed their test. Wow, listen. Breaking news, people. That's why I've been keeping you guys plugged in. Smash the like button. The San Bruno YouTube headquarters shooter is a Caucasian female, they're saying, and she is now dead. The police must have stormed the headquarters and killed the active shooter. I just got it right now. See, we real live stream. This ain't for play. It was a female, female active shooter in my neck of the woods in the Bay Area, San Bruno is right by San Francisco. Daily City, San Bruno. It's right around the same thing. Um, it's like LA and Burbank and like Inglewood and stuff. Wow. She shot herself? Well, whatever, she's dead. That's what they're saying. That's crazy. See, but why, like, I'm not, see, I'm not trying to take this because I know this is uh, boxing, but I have to say my, my thoughts. Why do people, if you're going to just shoot yourself, why didn't you just do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, if, if that's how you feel you have to go out, why harm other people in the process? Why couldn't you just do that for you? No, I don't smoke, but someone said I heard Northern California got the best smoke. They got gas out in North, Northern California to all my smokers. John Williams, $2 Super Chat. You think Canelo will go out of the country and fight? Nah, it's not that serious. He makes money, and that'll look bad. You know what I mean? That'll look bad. It's like you going around the rules to fight in Mexico. and You know what I mean? Edwin Valero did that, but it wasn't because he failed with Clint Buterell. He um, wasn't licensed to fight because he had a motorcycle accident, and he had some kind of brain trauma. Listen, I'm going to go get some coffee, smash the like button, um, and then I'm going to come back. I got to talk about this Wilder Anthony Joshua stream. I don't know Canelo's net worth to Jesus. I mean, I don't really care about people's net worth unless it's mine. But I will be back, man. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the channel. Let's get one last smash of the like buttons. We work it, people. But to wrap up, Canelo has publicly and officially withdrawn from the fight. More to come. Peace out.